Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Pax Britannica mod parts by and far. I'm your host, Mr. Ukraine Exploder. But, uh, Ukraine's exploded, y'all. Um, we gotta talk about the conference in Europe, though. We have the Republic of Ukraine, which we really like. They have no civility. We have Malo Russia. Oh, uh, Nationalist Ukraine. And then we have the Free Territory of Ukraine. Look at this guy. My god, Makhno. So handsome. But, um, the conference. As diplomats and heads of government and state gather around the packed hallways of Hetlu Palace, so graciously proposed that it be the site of this historical conference by the Dutch Crown, the conference slowly gets started. In a side room, no, not that noticeable when walking to the palace, the major players have started the conference with its main corpse, France. <clears throat> the undoubted aggressor of the war, France acts like a mirror for many of the other diplomats in the room. Uh, reflected upon the heavy, hasty decisions made in the aftermath of the First Great War that allowed for such a monster like Doriot to firmly grasp the wheel of the fainted or failed republic. Among such British diplomats, who seek to find an eternal solution to the continent's war's problems, the old treaty is a perfect example of how not to go forward. Germany, on the other hand, has been the nation that suffered the most from the French invasion, with the border regions destroyed and the economy turned on its head after such an expensive war. Millions um, of marks in debt and the lives of many men lost, Germany's diplomats resent the British approach to the situation in their eyes. Uh, the solution to France is clear. Dismantlement. The degrees vary, but most German diplomats are keen on the idea of breaking the French spirit completely. As papers are put on the round table, the big faces of Europe start. Speaking, the conference of Europe, Europe has truly begun. Hopefully, the peace will be given a chance. You get war reps, huh? No. I'm still fighting in Norway, too. So. Ukraine in flames. But what else is new? Not a political statement, too much. War reps. Occupied France. Do we get war reps? No, we're masters of the earth, though. Cool. Expanding the autonomies of West Indies, the West Indies have remained under the British Dominion for well over two centuries. There is of great economic and strategic importance, and should these er areas ever fall to such rebellion, then we may be facing a potential crisis on our hands. For such a scenario, some individuals in our cabinet believe we should establish a West Indies Dominion to better represent regional affairs and interests. Alternatively, we could just grant the United Commonwealth a few islands so that they are less of a burden on London. Oh, Britain forever. Commonwealth is not necessary. The British Empire and all the glories come out of two world wars as an undisputed victor. Men are dead, missing, or forever scarred both mentally and physically. These brave men and women who served at the home front or in the thick of the action will never be forgotten. It is thanks to them that the British Empire shall live triumphantly for another millennia, maybe more. Nice. Begin to mobilization. Well, I don't know about that. The Red Sun of Asia? Huh. Victory in Europe has been achieved as a proud Britain flag stands next to the proud Germanic counterpart. Yep. Yeah. While the continent of civilization itself is back to civilization again, the foreign lands beyond still beckon. Asia, continent of pseudo civilized men, remains the headache of the empire, as a pan Asianist Japan, the former ally against French revanchism, has itself turned against the British status quo. Our civilizing hammer will soon swing down on the largest continent on Earth. The situation changes in the near future, so, if we have to. But in the meantime, we do have a cup of tea here, and, uh, oh, yes, we'll take some stuff. Yes, why not? I'm um, sure. Do you not have. Oh. Ah. But we're headed down south, y'all. Hopefully they don't lose their guys in the water. That'd be quite unfortunate. But we have no political power because discussing France, second war that decimated Europe in 20 years, has finally come to an end. Seas now resemble smoldering graveyards while entire villages uh, have been wiped off the map, either due to national projects of achieving natural populations or due to the heckish machines and innovations unleashed upon the continent during the war. Roads and railways are broken and beyond repair, while industrious factories now seem abandoned. With the powers of challenge, the status quo now destroyed, Britain, Germany, and their allies now seek to partition the pie correctly. It remains to be seen how possible that'll be, as some seek revenge for the devastation or the national humiliation, while others seek to bring unity to a divided Europe. Strongly reformist, 90%. Let's see how much we can piss off everybody here. The party of Yugoslavia, huh? Yeah, we're all done with this. Nice. Well, almost all done. What do we have? An issue here. Oh boy. Greece, what is wrong with you? So we've got plenty of factories to spare for all that stuff. I was trying to build up a lot of roads around here because just in case we have to go to war with these guys. You never know. France. Final hour. Oh! The British Empire is at this very moment on the brink of outright war with its once greatest ally and now greatest rival, the United Commonwealth of America. After months, if not years, of increasing imperial tension between the two world powers, it seems diplomacy has once again failed the globe as America and Great Britain free themselves for what's likely to be the defining war of the century. Already, militias are being mustered and reports of the first shots were being heard. Commonwealths that are now under intense American economic influence will likely side with Philly, but for what remains for the rest of the empire remains to be seen. An empire divided itself cannot stand. Um, well, we're going out that direction. We're going to go over here. Go, 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 just in case.
I don't know many of them were here, but whatever. Oh! Okay, so we got these guys over here. That's not bad. That's actually really nice. Um, on, Brook. Nary? Oh, nice. British loyalties? Yeah, you better be loyal to us. And British loyalists. 18 combat with. We can't change their division types. God dang it. That is not ideal. Uh, skill leader bonuses. redo this as I sent all these guys to Africa the Imperial Civil War, oh boy. Time for discussions pass. The Americans finally exhausted our patience. The unilateral declaration of independence issued by the Parliament violates the Constitution of the Imperial Confederation. That's not even speaking of the cause of rebellion to the other Commonwealths. We still have our loyalties, however, or loyalists, and these upstarts will be put down just like they were over a century ago. The Americans want a diplomatic solution. They have just indisputably made reaching one impossible. Let's crush this rebellion once and for all. And France. Oh. Conservatives versus liberals. Foreign monarch, Franz the first. Interesting. Well, we're pretty reformist, so we're going to keep with the reformist idea. So now the considered the Republic of France. Pierre Atenos Flandin. Nice. We failed. Okay. Now I got to talk about Spain. Please don't get stuck at the water. For the love of God, please. We still have no fuel, but whatever. <sighs> A little bit more fuel. Maintenance is, are nice. Come on, you almost there? No. Alright, so. We immediately go to war with them. We have a war. At dawn, the American delegation. <clears throat> At London, handed over a series of demands in relation to the autonomy of the United Commonwealth. <coughs> of all the specific outlines, and the most daring was a clarification on the nation soon to be self declared complete independence. The proposal was instantaneously rejected in the whole by Westminster, and a state of war between the two powers and their allies now taking place. America is now fighting for independence once more. Ever before, whilst London fights to retain whatever is left of a now quickly to collapsing empire. We will now wait to see of whom the two will make it out alive in this defining, era defining conflict. Yesterday, brothers, today, enemies, tomorrow, who, well, who knows? We're looking pretty thick. We have our allies trying to help out down there, too, but uh, Chinese United Front is pretty huge. So, I'll, as long as we hold for now, we should be fine. I'm, I'm a little worried up there, though. Portable radios are nice. Explosives. Uh, America? Shouldn't be too bad to take out, but you never know. Philadelphia is the capital, which is unfortunate, but whatever. You know what? Come on, Quebec. Owned by French people up here? Disgusting. Terrible. How could you? Um, not too much else we can really do around here. Come on. Uh oh. As long as your divisions don't get sunk, that's all I really care about. Oh, wait, is Quebec not in here? Angloids issue. Well, they should join eventually, right? I'd assume that they would. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. Leon trials, huh? Nice. If you only this one, please go ahead. There's not much we can really do. Very strongly reformists. Couple American uh, divisions here and there. League of Nations. All right, all right, all right. Quite a few convoys around here. Love seeing the convoys getting sunk. 
Oh boy, they're flooding through now. That's not good. forever to move. He even made it and I'm banning it right now too. possibly can right now. The A-bomb. We're testing it. The world needs a reminder of whom the true global power is. Besides that, Britain is a way of properly reserve or preserve the status quo after the devastation and another great war shattered the civilized illusion. Thus a plan was created, a horrific plan. A bomb pack of the destruction of several suns able to flatten cities and wipe out lives unlike any other previous weapon. What to make God break out in a sweat? The A-bomb is a guarantee we need to preserve of British imperialism for another hundred years. Absolutely. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead. Nice. Better subby holes, huh? Do any search the next one? I don't care. Um, how many divisions does America have? Up to a hundred in total. Actually, Quebec has more than America. Go flipping figure. All right. Levis. There you go. Shove off a slight bit there. Nice. No upgrades. Diplomatic training is nice. Passive defense. Quebec is fallen. Has fallen. Chicago, yuck. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Nice. How's the air war? Oh, actually, green. We have 800, they have only a few planes. To us. We have no war support, apparently. Who needs war support in times like these, you know? Nice. Nice. Still throwing a weight around. Awesome. So what do we do after we test the A-bomb? Well, I'll reform position in the Pacific. That's what we'll do. Japan growing increasingly dominating in the region. Threatening the European hold in the region unlike any threat before, the British Army has been given the green light to strengthen the colonial possessions in the face of the Japanese aggression. The European soldiers deployed our Asian corner of the globe. Britain helps to preserve the strain peace in the region through gunship diplomacy because, as we all know, militarization never leads to conflict. Exactly. Circumman, huh? Quite a few enemies around here. Silent Hill, is this a video game or something? <coughs> Look at all that field we got, my god. So beautiful. 
Because we get how much every week? 6,000? What if we started demobilizing a little bit? Tech Detroit. Nice. Silex. Ah. Good. There goes a uh, Kelly. Go and take Chicago. 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 Oh, and there goes those guys. Okay. Nice. Nice. There's a lot of cyber stuff. Dog bomb. Joseph had tended to his cows he'd done every day for the past five years. As uneventful as the day was, he'd seen an increase in British naval vessels. Um, just off the coast. Joseph didn't take much note of it, simply continued tending to his sheep, of course. That's approximately 1300 p.m. Uh, look at that. Nice. Joseph violently shook it and amidst the assumed earthquake, Joseph worriedly shouted for his wife Martha, then in a blink of an eye. The sky turned red and a pure white flash engulfed Joseph's vision. A seemingly hot holy encounter in less than only seconds. Well, white quickly turned to gray. And for what seemed to be a mushroom far off in the distance, as large as the sun itself, Joseph is now approaching white, both stopped and stared in horror. Both species of what their eyes were witnessing. For a while, both believed they had seen either the death of God or his return, or both being equally true. Now it become death and destroy worlds. Kaboom! Yay. Oh, we did on the Falklands. Nice. Very victorious. Empire endures bloody and beaten. I got 13 colonies here. America, Victor America victorious. What do you mean? Cloud Alkenbeck. And we're peace. Nice. Other one here too, huh? Oh, Katie's with us as well, huh? Well, just in case, uh, we want supply hubs. Definitely. Overall, not bad. Is there anything else then, maybe? Maybe not? Seems like we did most of pretty much everything here. Um, 13 colonies defeated. We're doing pretty well. Found the Imperial Secret Services. This conflict becomes more and more expensive, yet the need for more regime change continues to grow in the frigid conflict. The plan has been dropped to establish a new branch of Britain's Military Intelligence Bureau called the Imperial Secret Service. Designed to do the dirtier work while saving lives and resources, the ISS is a prime tool needed in our hands to bash upon the upcoming threats with governments. As fragile as Chinese va vases or cobwebs are easy to smash apart from within. As long as you can keep rivals down or done, armed conflict may not be the answer for once. The Oriental Crisis. Well, if you're worried about these, please go ahead. Begin demilitarization. Uh, impose Article 15. Expand the League of Nations. Secure Russian stability. Uh, Federated Ocean. Ooh. Support the Russian mandates. Begin the London Tribunal. Yeah. Addressing the naval budget. Oh boy. Uh, Indonesian economics. Oh boy. The Veterans Act. Continue German friendship. I United Borrelia. As well as an equal America. So, Richmond Compromise. But I think I might end up there. I think that's pretty much all we can do for this campaign. We've done everything we can with this route. Um, we could have done more stuff here, but we need more time to do all this stuff because we just don't have time for it, unfortunately. Um, so, we don't have Nicaragua either, but, oh well, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.